Hey all, it's Curtis from Wildcat Bronco. Really excited to share with you the pulley system that I built for removing the last section of my Bronco's hard top. Um, I was really in a place where I needed to be able to do this single-handedly. Um, as you probably know, if you've tried to take it off before by hand, um, it weighs between, I think, 60 and 80 pounds, somewhere around there, and it is unwieldy and it is hard to handle. Um, so this system makes it really, really simple um, to both remove and to put the hard top back so on. So first I'd like to start talking about how I prepared the garage and the ceiling for uh, mounting the pulley system. And the first thing I had to do was go ahead and back the, the Bronco into the garage um, far enough that, uh, that it was kind of lined up with with where I knew some of the studs are in the ceiling because I knew that's where I was going to mount the, the two by fours to the ceiling that would be the, the anchor system for the pulleys. Um, and from there, what I did is went ahead and just used a line and kind of dropped the line down from the ceiling down to the sides of the Bronco, specifically where we have these two notches here that are really great for securing the the hooks that um that are used on on the pulley to connect the the roof to the lines um, same thing on the back for um you know this the the ridge here that that separates uh, around the very top is great for these hooks um, and so you can secure them there so went ahead and dropped a line down from the ceiling all the way down to here so that I knew exactly um, where those points in the ceiling would be, um, where I'd have to um, have the pulleys to be kind of directly above um, where they would be pulling. Uh, all right, so the system I designed um, is meant to balance using basically three groups of pulleys uh, and balancing across uh, two connection points, both on the sides and on the back of, of the Bronco. And so the, the original design, um, I actually used too few pulleys and it just took too much effort to, to pull the roof off of the Bronco. Um, so I went ahead and modified the design a little bit, which I'll show you, um, using three pulleys. Um, at each point, so on on each side, each each grouping of pulleys has three in in the system, so that it takes far less effort to to pull the Bronco roof off. Okay, so by pulling this down, so that we can see it, we have a a piece of two by four that is that is centered across the two connect the two mounting points. Um, on the Bronco roof. We have a fixed pulley that is mounted to the uh, piece of two by four. And then up toward the ceiling line, we have a, a fixed pulley that is mounted to the roof from the two by four on the roof. And then um, also a, a, a pulley that is uh, uh, still fixed, um, but that it is linked to that fixed pulley. So it's a, it's really a, a three pulley system. Um, you can see how the how the rope routes through the main fixed pulley first, then down through the fixed pulley on the two by four, back up through the fixed the the pulley that is attached to that one, and then ultimately connects down and ends here. Um, so it's a three pulley system, which takes a lot less force um, than it would otherwise. Uh, the next part in terms of how the pulleys are mounted to the ceilings, you can tell um, I had to find, use a stud finder to find where the studs are in the ceiling and then using some pretty, pretty large lag screws with the hex head uh, bolts and the flat washers, anchor these two by fours to the studs at various places where they exist in the ceiling. And then that gave me the ability to though, go ahead and mount the pulleys to those two by fours. 
you can tell uh, the angle at which I mounted the pulleys on the two by four kind of corresponds to this line that I was trying to create back to this eye screw that is in the ceiling back here where all the different, all the, the ropes and lines from each of the pulley systems, the two sides and the back route through the back of that eye screw, okay? And then ultimately come all the way back to the wall where I can anchor it to the wall when the roof is up. For securing the two by fours to the Bronco, I did purchase these handy little, um, I don't know what you call these, like little, little uh, hooks um, with these nylon straps uh, that conveniently fit over the two by four and do a really great job of securing to the, these, uh, the sides of the Bronco where you have these places where they can fit in. Um, and by mounting the, the pulley directly in the middle of the two by four, it really helps balance out the load um, on each of the sides and on the back. Um, so I'll, I'll demonstrate um, how, the, how they, they latch onto the roof and then demonstrate how easy it is to pull the, the roof off of the Bronco. So I've removed the front two sections and the middle section from the Bronco roof, and I've also removed the two bolts from the top sides that mount the, um, the, the last section of the Bronco roof on. And now I'm gonna go and remove the last bolts from the interior. I want to show you all was these re recent acquisition um, from Rockworks are these really handy D-ring uh, billet aluminum bolts that are thumb screws that I acquired recently. Makes it really, really easy to um, remove and then reattach the Bronco roof uh, just um, with your hands. So uh, these are really great and um, can double as D-hooks for uh, cargo netting if you want to secure items to the back um, once you have the roof right, off. I have all eight of my Rockworks billet thumb screws out and we are ready to pull the roof off the Bronco with right. the pulley. In order to pull the roof off, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create enough tension in the pulley system so that we can hook these little um, latches here, these hooks to each side and the back. And then from there, once they're all secured, we can go ahead and give it a pull and watch the roof come off. Each of the latches is in and secured on all sides. So now what we can do is go ahead and give these lines a pull. Okay, they're all still engaged. Okay, let's go ahead and lift the roof off. All right, we are ready to go. All the latches are in place and we are ready to lift the roof off. Okay, as you can see, the roof is fully off. I didn't have any help, right? Holding it with one hand. That three pulley system really, really takes a lot of the effort out of lifting a heavy object um, single-handedly. So now that the roof is off, all we have to do is take the lines, take the lines over. over and secure it to your anchor point. Okay, so the roof is off. It is pulled up close to the ceiling and safely secured down to my anchor point down here. From here, all you have to do is make sure everything is closed up and secure and you can drive right out of the garage and you'd be done. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and pull slowly out of the garage and down into the driveway. And we're gonna leave our roof behind. Okay, here's what the finished product looks like. The roof is suspended securely. 
right? You can walk under it. Tall, extra tall people will probably have to duck just a little bit. My garage height is, is not the tallest, um, but you can see that is not going anywhere. It is firmly in place. I've had it hanging there for days and days and days on end, and the system has never Next failed. section of the video, um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll back the Bronco back in and we'll lower down the roof um, on top of it. But this is where the alignment really, really comes in um, handy. Uh, what I did personally is using the camera on, the, on the, the back of the Bronco when you have it in reverse, what I did is once I had everything lined up the way that I wanted to um, in terms of where the pulleys would be and the connection points, when I knew where the Bronco would sit in the garage, I went ahead and looked at that camera image and and then went ahead and, and put a couple, you can see them here, put kind of some, some blue tape and some markings here that align to the center line, which is like a dashed black line on the reverse camera. And then the two outer lines kind of line up. So as I'm pulling back into the garage, I can make sure that those are lined up properly. Um, and I know what that image looks like. Um, and so when I back up and, I, and, I'm, and I'm at that place, all I have to do is, is maybe jump out of the car and make sure that the latches are lined up properly on the sides. And if they are, I know that I'm ready to go. Yeah, well, here's an image of what it looks like on the reverse cam as I back right, into the I garage. I have the Bronco back in the garage. And at this point in time, I can tell that I need to come back just a little bit further because these pegs here need to align with this hole. And I can tell that it's slightly in front and I want this thing to lower down right where it needs to be. So I'm gonna make a quick adjustment, back up a little bit more. Lined up and ready to go. Ready to lower the roof down. As you can see, I am holding this with one hand. It's not stressful at all. Uh, once again, the three pulley system takes a lot of the weight off of the roof. So we're just going to go ahead and start slowly lowering the roof down. We're going to make sure that everything lines up properly. Just give it a little help. And there it is. Everything's in place again. From here, you can disconnect the latches from around the sides and the back pull the pulley system back up to the ceiling, secure it to your anchor point on the wall, and you're ready to drive your Bronco out of the garage and reattach the, the bolts and the other roof segments. So this particular build for the pulley system probably run you between $100 and $150, depending on the price of the items that you can find. Um, it's not an expensive build. Um, the bulk of the time is really in just putting the, the system together um, and putting all the pieces into place. Um, so I'm going to give you just a rundown quickly of the parts that you'll need um, to, to build this for yourself. So depending on your garage and how the studs are spaced out in the section that you would like to build it out in, you're probably looking at um, at least uh, 8 to 12 feet of 2 by 4s um, you're probably looking at uh, about eight feet of the, the two by twos that I used for each side and the back. You will need six total uh, stationary or fixed pulleys, the ones that can bolt directly to the pieces of wood. And once again, I'll link all of these items. The vast majority of the items I did purchase at uh, the local Home Depot. So you're gonna need six of these that can be screwed directly into the wood. And then you'll need three of the, the pulleys that they don't mount to the wood, but they have the eyelet and they're not the swivel pulleys. They're the fixed pulleys, but with just the eyelet. So you can see that I have one of those at the top of each system that is then mounted to the, the next pulley in the system. 
and you're gonna need six total of the, you can see the, I'm gonna pull this down. These fasteners here, right? So the, the like the screw type carabiners that can, that can uh, connect the rope to the pulley itself. Um, Cause you'll need to have, you'll need to have the, the main pulley or the, the, the first pulley connected to uh, the, the ceiling beam, the next fixed pulley connected directly to uh, this two by two wooden cross beam. And then the third pulley connected again to the bottom of the fixed pulley at the top. And then that rope comes all the way down and it connects directly to this fixed pulley down here. And that fit, that completes the three pulley system. Right, for mounting the pieces of wood to the ceiling, you're gonna need at least, let's see, I use seven, but let's just call it eight, just to be careful of the hex head uh, lag screws um, that can be uh, put up through. They need to be long enough to go through the two by four and then deeply enough embedded into the stud in your ceiling. And then you'll need six of these latches, which I'll put the link to those on Amazon. And then you'll need, um, I believe it's two bundles of this rope that I also purchased from Home Depot. And I'll show you, I have, I have a new bundle that I did not use here. Okay, it's just a bundle of 50 foot, three eighths inch braided polypropylene rope. It has a rating of 244 pound working load, which is far more than the actual roof uh, weighs. So you're, you're good with Again, this. This is Curtis from Wildcat Bronco. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Please like and subscribe if it was helpful. And contact me with any questions that you might have or comments. Um, please share if you come up with an innovative design um, that helps to improve upon the pulley system that I've shown you today. All right, we'll see you again soon.